everyone welcome to a vlog and today I'm going to be vlogging my um, 100k ride so I'm going to be doing around 100k the ride is actually scheduled for 90 something uh, but I think I'm going to turn it into 100 uh, just just like add, add a little bit extra on or something so um, yeah basically I'll, I'll take you with me uh, to, or I'll also show you what I eat today as well um, so far I've had uh, a bottle of a litre of sugar water with um, lemon and yeah <laughs> lemon and sugar basically lemon sugar and water let me just press the elevator so I can start making my way down and um, yeah so I had 100 grams of sugar so I've already uh, got about 400 grams of uh, 100 grams of carbs almost 400 calories in me <coughs> before the ride so I'm not doing it fasted um, obviously, after the mistakes before, um, so yeah, and um, I've got my got a bottle here. This has got um, this has got 100 grams of sugar in it. Uh, this bottle is just plain water, uh, and this this bag of uh, cocaine. No, not really it's sugar. Um, 200 grams of sugar. So I'll add that to my water as and when I need it. So ideally, I should have had 300 grams of fuel, uh, 400 grams of fuel by the end of the ride. Another tip as well, probably sounds obvious, but um, <clears throat> always make sure that you've pumped your tyres up, you know, before you go on a long ride. I mean, uh, obviously if your tyres are flat, then yeah, that's no good even for just a short journey, but <clears throat> especially on the long rides, if your tyres like 20 psi lower, it's, you might still feel like solid to the touch, um, but over a long period of time, you're going to lose quite a few watts, which um, on a 100k ride is going to make a big difference. Um, you know, literally put, if your tyres were 80 PSI and you put them up to 100, um, that could be the difference of like 10, 15 minutes maybe, you know. So yeah, always uh, make sure your tyres are pumped up. about to get onto the course now, the course that I've loaded, I made sure to uh, protect the arms. Um, I normally don't bother on like a one hour ride, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to be about four hours in the, the Thai sun. So, um, I don't want to get burned, not that I probably would, I'm so used to it, so, but um, I don't want to get too many freckles, I don't want to get each skin. So I'm about 20k into the route now. Uh, it's a pretty nice route so far. Uh, it looks as well like it's going to be uh, it's going to be mostly back roads, which I really like. Um, because although you know, although the highways uh, usually you get like a space on your own, there's still a lot of cars around and stuff. And um, you know, you often get cars like spewing shitty smoke in your face and stuff. So it's nice to kind of like get away from it onto the uh, onto the back roads. I'm feeling pretty good so far, uh, just over 20k in, um, bumps out a little bit, uh, but definitely it's because I'm still adapting to um, 
still adapted to cycling and um, you know building up to it again and then also um, getting used to uh, yeah getting used to the distances too k in now um, I think it's about 55 uh, loving this ride wow such such beautiful beautiful scenery and the fact that I'm not fasted and I'm not starving and I'm not under carb I'm loving it Trying to find a uh, water water refill station. I uh, can't find one. Too, I'm, uh, I'm I'm not getting pretty thirsty, but my uh, sugar water has run out, and I've just got um, just got plain water now. So I've just been sipping that. But hopefully, uh, I can find one soon. I'm about 50 58k now, something like that. So I still haven't found water yet, but oh well, I've still got a little bit of water left. Um, it's not like I'm going to dehydrate, so yeah, but yeah, I'm just, just loving this beautiful scenery, wow. What could be better, eh, than, uh, being out on a ride, beautiful day, clear blue sky. I haven't seen a car for <laughs> five minutes. Wow, it's like uh, podcasting, audio book, and just like zone out, but you know, still <laughs> pay attention. It's almost like a meditation. Beautiful. I just found a uh, shop that sells uh, sells water. I was hoping to use one of the refilling stations because usually you can pay like one baht for one litre, but I end up paying 13 baht for 1.5 litres. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's pretty crazy. But oh well, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna restrict water just because it's you know still like 50 cents or whatever. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a little bit too cheap for my own liking. But anyway, I got the water here. Uh, this is uh, 200 grams of sugar. I'm just going to pour about half into this bottle and I'm just going to pure, put pure water into here. Wow, there's tons of floating bits. Uh, extra fibre.
I've literally uh, smashed down that bottle. <laughs> it went down so well, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fill fill it up with the rest of the sugar now, uh, and then I'm just gonna hop over to that um, that water dispenser. Another thing I'd say as well is um, as nice as it is to like rest and stuff on rides, um, you can rest too long, and then your legs feel like absolute garbage when you when you start up again. It's like you you rested too long. Obviously, you, you do get back into it eventually, but it's just t tough when starting out. So I've sat down for about maybe five minutes, and uh, it's like if you start getting into like 15 minutes, half an hour. I mean, unless of course you know you're sitting down to eat or whatever, then obviously you, you know fair enough. But if it's just literally like a quick um, getting water and you know sit down and you know gather my thoughts and in my case rest my bum. <laughs> um, then yeah, you think you think to yourself, um, you, you you don't want too long. So yeah, about five ten minutes is about is about it. These machines are a godsend. You can literally just uh, put your money in. And it gives me uh, one liter. I'm trying to do this one-handed. I've got my uh, sugar in. Give the bottle a good shake and I'm uh, ready to go. Okay, so as you can see, 100k, just under four hours. So it didn't really sound that impressive, does it? <laughs> um, 100k in just under four hours, but um, really windy. Um, I can't really see by looking at the trees, I guess. Yeah, the trees are moving a little bit, but um, because now it's kind of like getting into the rainy season, um, it's kind of like before it fully gets into the rainy season. It's kind of like an unwritten, like, windy season. I always remember this um, before it really starts raining in, like, July, August. It's always, like, super, super windy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it rains a little bit as well, but it's mainly windy. So my um, uh, average speed's definitely gone down. And sadly, at the moment, I don't have power, uh, so I can't really get a proper idea. But anyway, the, the ride felt okay. Um, Ended up consuming about 300 grams of sugar on the ride, so that's 300 grams of carbs, um, 100 grams of sugar before the ride, uh, so that was kind of like my kind of water slash breakfast, um, like mini, you know, just breaking the fast really uh, before I left. And then yeah, I've done the ride. Um, the only issue I can really report, my body feels fine, my energy levels feel fine. Um, the only thing really is my ass, like I guess saddle sores or just um, just to soreness basically um, I've always suffered with this all the time um, it's been better at some times than it has others um, like for example I'm not wearing bike shorts now um, I have worn bike shorts in the past um, and I've, I've had still had problems um, and I've not worn bike shorts in the past and had no problems so kind of um, <laughs> It just, it doesn't seem to matter whether I'm wearing bike shorts. It doesn't even seem to matter what seat I have. I've had probably 10 different seats in, in the time. And I, I've never been truly comfortable on a bicycle, ever. Um, I don't know if it's just like my body, my bones, whatever. But I just have to kind of like grind through it, which I have always done. Um, especially when I was a, a big fatty, obviously I had a lot more weight. So there was a lot more pressure there. Um, I'm actually kind of suffering with that now, obviously, because I'm near, well, around 100 kilos, like 98, 99 uh, kind of kilos. So I'm actually uh, struggling a little bit with with the excess weight because the, the last times I was riding, I was like low 80s or maybe high 80s. Uh, but obviously now I'm even higher. So uh, it's a little bit of a struggle. But anyway, I'm going to go inside and get breakfast now. 
Uh, this will be like a what I eat in a day video as well, so I'll show you what I'm eating. There's really nothing better than an ice cold water with a freshly squeezed lemon in it when you get home from a ride. Oh, it feels beautiful, ice cold. Right, so uh, just about to make my meal, or I guess lunch, breakfast, whatever you want to call it. So we've got uh, 100 grams of sugar, uh, 200 grams of oats, and uh, you can't see it, but uh, half a teaspoon of baking soda. Oh, uh, I've also got um, one, 150 grams of blackberries as well, which I'm just going to heat, heat up a little bit so they're not frozen, uh, and I'm going to put them at the base of the pancakes. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, put it on the Nutribullet now. So yeah, it's as easy as that. Don't ever get scammed into buying oat flour when you can just simply buy oats. Just put them in the blender, the coffee grinder, the food processor, any of these household gadgets that everybody has, and you get oat flour. And oats are like, I don't know, a pound for a kilo or something like that right and then oat flour is like super expensive like three pound or something so yeah don't don't get sucked into that meal but definitely a, uh, a good carb the fuck up meal um, so I'm just going to be eating that now and uh, just probably chill chill for, for a little bit rest my rest my legs watch some YouTube videos and such and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next meal oh yeah for reference is around 100 grams of golden syrup um, which is basically 100 grams of carbs uh, and then I use a little bit less of that chocolate stuff um, probably about um, 50 uh, yeah, 50, 50 grams or something like that. So, and then like I said, there's 100 grams of sugar inside. So, plenty of calories there. Uh, really good fueling meal um, for me. Wow. So, um, normally this, I've got all chocolate on me. Uh, normally this meal hits the spot, but um, I guess maybe because of my ride, um, burned burn quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of calories today. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like I could have some more. Um, obviously, I haven't had any solid food. Um, in the morning, normally I have a breakfast and then usually uh, a, a fruit and then usually this meal is like a lunch. Um, I was thinking about having ice cream on top of it, but I was just thinking about like, oh, it's been a bit cheap food combining and maybe having some like gas or something. So um, I thought to myself that I, I was just going to make a, a bowl of oats now. Sometimes the trouble with living in Thailand, um, the ants get everywhere. They're getting your oats, they're getting your rice, they're getting your sugar. Um, they just love carving up. 
Right, so we've got um, two two cups of um, oats and uh, about half of a cup of sugar. I don't want it to be <laughs> too sweet. I've already had quite a bit, so. So the, uh, the oatmeal is cooked now as well. Um, another thing that I've learned, uh, which some people have the mindset of, is like if you feel full when they've eaten the, in, when they've eaten the food or the plate that's presented to them or whatever, it's like don't be afraid to eat some more, right? If you, if you finish a meal and you're still hungry, eat, right? <laughs> like you, you need to, you, your body needs it. So I've eaten the first meal, Normally that, that pan, those pancakes, um, I do the same amount pretty much as I've done normal. Um, yeah, li literally that normally hits the spot and I'm like, mm, you know, I'm full, that's going to tide me over until dinner. Uh, but today I ate it and I'm kind of like, mm, I'm kind of like this. I want to eat. <laughs> My mouth wants to move. I want to chew. So um, yeah, I uh, make up something quick. Uh, when I'm in the West, I'll have access to cheap cereal again so of course I'd have just thrown cereal in a bowl you know some soy milk whatever bam and some sugar uh, but here <laughs> you have to uh, faff around a little bit yeah so then what I like to do is I like to put the oats on the plate and then spread it out like this so that I can just like eat it straight away because there's not, nothing worse than I mean I guess maybe in winter it might be okay but if you put the oats into the bowl they stay hot for like for like an hour and you just can't eat it. You're just like blowing it and it's it's already hot here anyway. So it's like, wow, I just I just literally have it like this and then I just eat it from around the edges. Kinda like what you do with soup. So that's dinner then. Um pasta, vegetables and uh leftover curry from yesterday uh, you may have seen it on Instagram so I've got a similar technique here I um, I like to put it in a bowl uh, so the bowl can be cooling down uh, whilst I'm eating my plate and then I, what I do is I then put the bowl onto the plate and then put another uh, piece of pasta into the uh, into the bowl So that's it for this uh, vlog and what I eat in a day video. Hope you've all enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you in the next video everyone.